Okay, <clears throat> I've gone ahead and opened up Vetrix Aspire program. Vetrix has a lot of different programs that you can use. Aspire is considered their flagship product. It has uh, Cut 2D, it has VCar Pro, it has Photo 3D, it has everything in there you can imagine that Vetrix produces. This is a great company and a great piece of software. So we're using Aspire here. So now I need to get the file I just created. So I'm going to go ahead and go to File and go to Open. And I'm going to find the file HANA that I did. Sure enough, there's the jar drawing file. And then here's the DXF. Again, this is what um, Vetrix looks at, Aspire looks at, is the DXF file. And again, we use the older version. So we click on that, we come down here, and we hit Open. So now you can see the file is opened up. Real important is we got to look at some things real quick first. It comes over here and it automatically opens up what's called a job setup uh, menu, menu panel here on the left. Notice the size of it and notice where it says HANA is the height is at 7 inches. We specified 6. Whatever reason it comes in a little bit taller but we can adjust that as you see here. Also the material thickness is 0.25. An important factor is this one right here which says use offset. If you notice, the lower left corner right here on the screen as I'm moving my mouse shows that corner right there. Well, the offset here is actually almost a quarter of an inch up, and, excuse me, a quarter of an inch over and about an inch and a quarter up. We've got to fix that. So when we unclick this button here, it'll drop down to that corner. Now, also inches. We're using inches on, on our milling machine that we're going to use. And you can come over here and you can say design scale and you can do a few other things. I'm just going to leave that alone for now. But one thing I am going to change right here is this width. If you notice that the H is touching this corner here and the Y is touching here, that's not practical for milling. We need to be able to make sure we have some space around the actual design we're working on. So I'm going to specify, in this case, 24 inches gives me enough room. As you can see now, I've got this larger space over here now, but I'll fix all that as well, and I'll move this around. Now, on the height, I'm going to go ahead and say 10 inches, because that gives me a couple inches to work with on my actual product that I'm making. Now, so as you can tell, I've moved this around, but I hit the Enter key too fast. Let's go back up here to Design Setup again. We've got to be concerned about our material thickness. In this project here, I've got a bunch of 8th inch MDF, medium density fiberboard. So I'm going to specify 0.125 on that. And down here it says uh, solid color resolution. That's all fine there. I'm going to go ahead and on the solid color, I'm going to select MDF, medium density fiberboard. And I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. Now, we got to get this thing centered on this piece of wood or this piece of MDF that we're cutting. So I'm going to do a edit and you can see where it says select all vectors, control A. And I'm going to come over here to center the job. It says alignment tools. I'm going to click on this one right here. See this one? Now the job is properly centered up. Okay. So we've got the job set up. I'm going to stop here for now because we've got to fix this issue right here between the A and the H. So we'll come back to that in a moment.